Global Servants has done ministry in West Africa since 1981. Over that time, we've built churches and trained pastors. We've constructed schools, dug wells, and even started an orphanage. Our goal has been, in the words of John Wesley, to do all the good we can, for all the people we can, for as long as we can. With that goal in mind, we're excited to introduce the next phase of Global Servants Ministry in West Africa. My name is Moses Age. I am a Trinity Foundation Church Pastor at Nayoko. There are about 4,836. Yeah, it's hard for them to get toilet. So they go out openly and defecate openly. Progress comes slowly to rural villages in northern Ghana and all over West Africa. As you can see, electricity is here now and that has improved their lives greatly. One of the things that the people of this village are lacking is adequate plumbing. One of the things that Global Servants has committed to recently and we're excited about this new initiative is providing village hygiene stations to communities just like Nyoku. It doesn't look like much, does it? A simple concrete building in the middle of a village, but for the people here in Nyoku, it is literally the difference between life and death. Global Servants is very excited about this next phase of our ministry in West Africa. We are committed to building village hygiene stations, or for lack of a better word, community toilets. 40% of the world's population does not have access to adequate plumbing, which means it leads to disease and often death for them. We are committed to helping people across West Africa with these needs. A community like Nyoko is about 5,000 people. It's going to require about 20 community toilets strategically placed throughout the village in order to serve the needs of the population. Chief has actually already told us that he would give us any of the land for free as long as we would build the toilets. Uh, this, is, this is something that we're extremely excited about and it is a way that we're going to change the lives of villages and people in those villages around West Africa. And we're excited about this next um, aspect of what Global Servants is doing. I'm Bukari Azaya Yidana. She's my wife, Azaya Azara. We live in Bimsi community. I'm the pastor and she's my wife. We have four children and the whole community is about 4,000 plus. This facility, uh, toilet facility that has been provided unto us is helpful to us and we are benefiting much and we hope that maybe when we get about 20 of them in the community, it can help us most. My name is Pastor Noah Atengawaya. I am worshiping I belong with Trinity Foundation Ministry. I have one wife and seven children, and my members are 173, including children. When the, the, the children are just going, you see that they will be stepping on the feces, and the toilet, and other things. So it's a lot of disturbance. So when we go to toilet anywhere that they find, in the sometimes in the bush, they will be very happy because be, uh, getting toilet, this one is for the members of the church. So when we get like that in the community, even the chief and the elders will be very happy. Um, this community, we have about 500 population. And then uh, only this toilet that we have here. Normally for the past year, we don't have toilet here. We used to go inside the booth and then free ourselves. So as has now, this is the only toilet that we have. And we are pleading if we we'll get more about this to add into this one. I think the community will be happy to get more toilet. My name is Pastor Kojo Godwin. I have a wife with five children. Uh, this is our old toilet. That, that was what we were using. And then by the grace of God, Travis and his friend came to build a new one for us. First, we were the community were using, we were using the bush. And then because of typhoid, the wind will blow it back to the family, which gives us typhoid. And sometimes when you are going out in the night too, snakes too are also there. But communities still have a challenge. We still have a problem with toilets. Some have, some don't have. 
If you can get 20 of these for my community, I would like it. This is the new turret. By the grace of God, now we have a new place where we can free ourselves. The pastor and his family, they are happy. The old church is happy. They can also use it. But there's still the need. The community needs some. And if we can build 20 of these for the whole community, I would like it. And they will also appreciate it. I'm excited about this new initiative and I'm excited that you would partner with us to help change the lives of people in West Africa. This is something that is going to have a lasting impact on rural villages and communities just like Nyoku. On behalf of Global Servants, people in this village and the people around the world that Global Servants serves, thank you for all that you do. Thank you for your support and we appreciate your willingness to partner with us to change the lives of people that so desperately need our help.